Hey guys, it's Frozen34 and this is another Marvel contest video. This time we're going into Act 6. This is my first attempt at going into Act 6. Uh, going through through completion to get Cavalier. So I take in Rogue, Red Hulk, Gwenpool, Sentinel, and Archangel. Um, Rogue is mainly going to be for my uh, the route fights for mostly. I'm going to be Sentinel for Red Skull and other than that, I, I'm not too much worried about this first half. I will, uh, first up we got Agent Venom against Rogue. Going to be super easy to heal back on. On this path, what you need to not do is the dash back and the dash back again. So, basically, while that timer's up, um, like right here, let's see. I'm gonna do a special one and I'm gonna dash back at least once. That, that time right there. Once that timer's up, you can't dash back again. So you have to kind of like get used to it. There's there are ways to like double evade like part of specials, uh, but maybe not the full thing. Like on on Agent Venom, you can actually dash the beginning, get hit with the second hand, and dash the third part. Uh, but you know you have to kind of get used to it to not take the damage because if you double dash you're gonna get that D gen it's really gonna hurt but yeah uh, like i could have dashed uh well the gun part is really hard to evade but like you could have only really got one maybe i don't know maybe not uh I just, yeah don't do that just 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 uh, evade one part and then block the rest those bullets don't do that much especially if you got a character like rogue that can heal all right so next up is that red skull fight uh, you basically don't want to hit into him when he's blocking and you don't want to double dash back again I'm not like the best sentinel player. I haven't actually even used my sentinel that much and uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna go in here with sentinel. He's ranked four. He's unduped. So that also is against me a little bit uh, Also only villains gain power on on this fight. So yeah sentinel is able to gain power therefore I can do special attacks as well. So yeah, this, this fight's pretty much straightforward. Don't hit him with block. I think I do it a few times uh, because of just, you know, not thinking about it. Don't, you don't, I don't fight a lot of red skulls unless they're an event quest and then I have to remember, oh yeah, don't hit into his block. He's like one of the very few champions that that, that happens on. Uh, here, this champion is the one I was thinking about. You can evade, block, evade his special one. And I, I had to like remember his like heavy attack and special one and stuff as well. Like when first going into here, I was like, oh, what what are his, his uh, heavy attack and special one? I got hit with his heavy attack there, uh, unfortunately. And then there I just block it. Uh, you can you can just block hits all you want to. Probably not using Sentinel as efficiently as I could. So yeah, uh, put it in the comments below if like, hey, I'm doing something wrong with Sentinel. Like, hey, Frodo, you should be doing this. When you're doing this, like if you do uh, armor breaks and you should be doing heavies, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you guys let me know. Uh, I'm not a not a pro Sentinel player. The only character I'm really pro with is is a pro. So, uh, yeah, there I go. Yeah, I hit into his blocks there, unfortunately. And took a little bit of damage. I knew I did it at some point. I, I was remembering that I did. Yep, so, yeah, basically taking down the Red Skull with Sentinel. Uh, I solo him. I think the only guy against Punisher 2099 with Archangel is screw up. And then, I think. Uh, I, I was doing really good the whole time until I got the Sabertooth, except for the first time dying against Punisher 29. Then I got hit with the special two, just wiped him out. We'll, we'll see when we get there. But yeah, the this fight is just it's just long and tedious pretty much for the most part. It's not actually that hard. I uh, probably could have played a little bit better and saved some health and I uh, double evaded there like an idiot. So I took some unnecessary gen if I wouldn't have double evaded. Just, you know, still getting used to the, the nodes. All these nodes are like new, it's never never seen before. Brand new to Act 6, so. 
gotta get used to it. You gotta remember, oh yeah, you can't double evade. Cause you know, you're so used to evading everything or, or trying to block, and I did it again. Uh, double evade was on that special. Used to just evading everything. See, and then I could evade again. See, I double evaded that special one. Uh, evaded the first part, took the hit from the second part, and evaded the third part. So yeah, you, you can get really, really good at all this stuff. Or you can just block, take the take the punishment, and then uh, just get through the route, do it the best you can. So next up is is it, is it Gambit? No, it's Iron Patriot. I know there's a Gambit in here too. Uh, what who do I take in here? Enhanced Special One, Aggression Armor. I believe I take in Rope. No, I took in Gwenpool, that's right. I took in Gwenpool and... I think I almost died, but I get through. If I remember correctly. I think I screw up somewhere. Yeah, not the best player, again. But yeah, uh, basically here, I, I want to put the bleeds on him and then get the heavy, heavy uh, converted to, to the heavy bleed, but didn't happen there so uh then i kind of like kind of i think i gave up on trying to do the heavy bleed of after the first attempt of not getting it uh I'm playing a little defensively here and i'm just what go back get the attacks in trying to get the just the damage over time the dot damage got caught with a special unblockable plus one unfortunate uh not something that normally happens to me for sure Special one from Iron Man, basically, and all the other characters like it. So yeah, it sucks to get caught by something that you normally would evade all the time. Right now, he's beating me a little bit, but uh, I'm catching back up. I'm, I got hit with that special one, so set me back a little bit. You know, when your health is staying even with the enemy, en enemy and you have a whole route to um, to do then you're, you know you start watching your health a little bit got hit with a special too took some more damage now i'm really feeling it and just it's not looking too good for one pull but the thing is is once she gets some bleeds going she can stack up the damage really fast and this fight should have went way south really fast like this fight should have been a lot easier and if, if i restarted the path I probably would have did a lot better, but I was still, I guess I was worried about those, those degen charges, I was watching and, and worried about that, sometimes I just got really lucky, he gets a special 3 here, good thing when Pole can't die to specials, but it, uh, it didn't do enough anyway, uh, no stun, Oh, I do die. I get hit with a heavy and <laughs> just take it to the face. Uh, then I think I go in with Rogue. No, Sentinel? Oh, Sentinel. I think I just go in there and bap him. Oh, yeah, I took Sentinel because he's already low health. And I was like, well, might as well just go in here with Sentinel, let him get another win. Wow, so I died twice? Because I, I know I died to Punisher 29.9. I know I do with Archangel. I think that fight might be next. Yeah. Overreach. While the attacker has three more fear buffs, the defender slowly accumulates power over time and gains 100% attack. So, yeah. I think that's what happened to me. I think he gets a special three. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Um, wasn't really thinking. This is what happens. Basically, playing Archangel style here, trying to get that poison in there, then go for the Neurotoxin. My, I have a five-star Archangel on a way to rank four, so any healing champions doesn't basically doesn't stop healing it. I just fight against it, 
at the moment. Hopefully, you know, we're working our way to my birthday opening on the 23rd. Maybe we can get an Archangel dupe, a Blade dupe, and, you know, maybe a really good champion. So, that, that you know, it'd be, it'd be effective to get a Archangel dupe at some point. Uh, or maybe I can use that General Awakening gem on Archangel instead of Blade if we get Blade, or I'm hoping not to use it on either one. <laughs> And, uh, and save it because I don't I don't think um, a, a general awakening gem on Blade or Archangel is really worth it. But I getting to the point to where I gotta use it on somebody. So get special three on him. It's looking really good, right? Like you're like, oh, Frocho, you said you lost, but yeah, I just got it. I got him to special three, and I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can and squeak by a win. Nope gonna get hit right back in the face with his special three now and i'm gonna take that l i kind of forgot what his special three looked like i don't fight against a lot of punishers 29.9s unless it's an event quest and most of the time i don't get them to special attack so i go back in with sentinel again he's like my closer you know uh, get him low finish him with sentinel uh, yeah so yeah, Sentinel comes in here, and I believe he closes it out. I don't think he dies. I'm already, I'm down two champions now, and I still have at least what, two fights, if not three. I think, I think after Gambit, it's, oh, I do die. So now I'm down three champions. I have Rogue and Red Hulk left now. Uh, both of them are full health. Going with Rogue. I don't remember dying this much the first time <laughs> on, the, on the path. I remember I died a lot on Sabretooth. I uh, just decided to go for it to get through Sabretooth uh, because I, I, felt like, I didn't feel like I had really a good ch shot champion to, to take it. So I was like, I'm just gonna, just gonna get through it, get the Cavalier title, uh, you know, go through this quest, use all the units if it takes all the units, uh, but hopefully it doesn't. You know, that was my thinking. I uh, get through it so I can open some Cavalier Crystals on my birthday on the 23rd and everything. The plan is if we get Cavalier title, we're going to open 34 Crystals, guys. 34 Cavaliers because I'm turning 34 and I'm Rojo 34. So, got to open 34. Uh, so, yeah. Nebula here versus Red Hulk. Again, this fight should not be that hard. Um, but, you know, I'm always in my mind thinking I can't double evade can't double evade so it's kind of like in your head so you're like, sometimes like you're watching that timer and you get hit with an attack and you're not thinking or you end up double evading and taking that unnecessary degen that you should have just took that block hit you know um and this it's weird you know not being able to do it and then sometimes like you do it like right at the nick of time i think on yeah, on Red Hulk, I got I get a few of them, uh, just messing up, not paying attention, getting unnecessary degens. There we go. Get some damage in. Getting Red Hulk, getting that power up. Got five heat charges right now. Double evaded, took the degen again. Doing some damage, but she's also healing back from that one. That special one, she healed it all back. So you just got the double evade there, right on the nick of time. But then that time I don't get the degen, unfortunately. And you know I'm suffering that little, little bit of health loss uh, because of it. I think most of this, most of the damage I've taken so far has all been from the the, the, the degen. Unfortunately, you know, getting, and then for there, for whatever reason, I mean, I didn't want to push your special too, but still, like, I should have not just sat there, I should have, like, maybe got a hit in, but she got the special two anyway, and then I took all that block damage from special two, and now I'm going to have to battle back again, I'm getting back in the corner, I, I'm not comfortable fighting in the corner, uh, just, that's just me, or something I'm not very good at. Not very good. <laughs> a lot of stuff in this game, but yeah, definitely when I get back in the corner, I get nervous. I start like worrying that I'm gonna die, all this stuff, like traps, blah blah blah. So yeah, then I get hit with a combo here, five hits, getting low now on health, and getting 
get the intercept, get the special one, and finish down Nebula. Very happy for that. Uh, the next fight is Gambit, and I take in Rogue. A lover's quarrel going on here. And I I was laying down, and I decided to sit up. I was like, well, maybe I should sit up uh, for this for these fights. Uh, and when I did that, like, I had to edit it out there, but, like, the screen, like, rotated upside down, and then it rotated back. But I went ahead and edited it out, because I was like, uh... So basically with this is, you know, it's rogue, um, you know, everything's going to go fine, pretty much. I do think I kind of get kind of low on health, but at this point I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm pretty much done with the path. I, I know that uh, I'm probably going to have to use items on Sabertooth, but I'm hoping I don't have to use that, that many. So, yeah, because I, I, I have Sentinel, I can heal block him with Sentinel, I can, I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hoping I can do a bunch of damage with Sentinel and Archangel, that was my plan, so basically I just needed to get there and then do as much damage with any of the other champions as that, that I can, so, really I just need to get through these fights and then go, go in and, and then take down say and then move on to the next chapter, which we'll get that uploaded tomorrow. We're gonna maybe do two parts tomorrow because I think we're running out of days uh, to get to get it all up. Unfortunately, part two is missing a little bit. Uh, apparently, the thing wasn't recording, and I didn't realize it uh, for part of it. I think it was the Modoc fight, probably the one of the hardest fights on part two, uh, the Modoc. But I mean, it's it wasn't nothing, nothing like uh, devastating to miss or anything. So yeah, uh, just my initial completion on all these six parts of Act Six, Chapter One. Right now we're just we're, um, thinking. Okay, I should probably try to get some health back, uh, but same time I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm beating them down, I'm playing some special twos off in a row, I can get through the fight a little bit faster, and that's what I started doing, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm like I might want to get some health, but I'll probably just get it back at the end, like right at the end, just do as many special twos as I can right now, and then get a special one off right before I kill him, but I think I don't, I don't, I end up just special twoing him, because he is going to regen, but yeah, I get one off here, I think I might get another one, because he blocks it, yeah, but then he attacks me back, so it was pretty, pretty, uh, devastating, and then he gets special two off on me, so, <laughs> I just screwed myself, basically, at the end of this fight, uh, but, you know, he did regen back up, so, I was able to get another special one, and then, I hit into his block, and take him down, and then we move on to Sabretooth, and Sabretooth, it's a series of unfortunate events of dying and repeating over and over again. Uh, mostly because I'm not used to fighting Sabretooth. I don't fight him in war very often, hardly ever, if not at all. I, I think maybe once I've, I've faced him. And um, a special attacks and his heavy attack are are somewhat similar except like the special attack has like an extra little part and the heavy attack doesn't and sometimes i kind of forget uh, yeah but basically if you can heal block this guy or he'll reverse him like if i had a void i think i would have been able to just immediately destroy him so going here with red hulk just trying to do damage and everything and um guys I i'm gonna die uh, I, I don't do well here i just i battle my way through it uh so what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm not gonna commentate all this because i i, I don't I, i'm just gonna let you guys watch it and then i will commentate right at the end again when i finish them off and uh tell you guys that i'll see you next time in the next video so i'll see you guys towards the end of the video hope you guys are enjoying hit the like button if you are and you want to see more videos of act six of me getting through it all right guys
All right, so we're going in with Gwenpool here. He's at 21% health. And um, I think we've used three team revives, which is 300 units. Um, uh, I, did, I was hoping to probably do it in two, but uh, it didn't happen, unfortunately. But we got to this point, and it's like, might as well get it done now. I'm stacking the bleeds. The health is falling off. We're under the assassination range, so uh, that's helping as well. Uh, heavy converting the heavy bleeds and he, he is regen as well which is kind of combating against what I'm doing uh, so we're just trying to do as much as we can uh, he gets special three uh, and uh, luckily for me I'm Gwimple so I won't die even if even if it uh, would kill me I don't think it does so I have 11 percent trying to get him all the way down but that his regen is just is fighting combating against me getting him down slowly now slowly now I'm down to one percent myself he's at three percent and are we gonna get him here with one pull I don't know I don't know if I can pull it off I don't I get hit with the dash forward attack and now I just have to go in there and um, get this 1% health. It's like 45, 4,400. Going with Archangel, should be a parry heavy in this game. Look at that. Uh, Sabertooth is down. All right, guys. Uh, that's been the completion of Act 6.1.1. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. There's going to be part two up tomorrow. And then we're going to be working my way to Cavalier opening on uh, Tuesday. Uh, on, my birthday is actually on Friday, which is tomorrow, on the, tomorrow's episode. But uh, thing comes out on the 23rd, so we're going to do it all then. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.